In this video, we'll show you how to add anchors that will act as bookmarks in your ebook for you to link to, as well as how to create two way links. Similar to bookmarks, anchors serve as placeholders within chapters, allowing you to create internal links that can be used to easily navigate to that specific location from elsewhere in the document. To add an anchor to your ebook, place your cursor where you want your anchor to be added, such as the start of a paragraph or a chapter heading and then click on the Anchor button in the right panel here. The Anchor window will appear. You can then add a name to your anchor from here. The name should be unique, and it will not appear for your users. So for example, we'll be naming this anchor Planet Types to refer back to it whenever we need to reference this section from other chapters. Once done, click OK, and you'll notice a little flag icon has been placed at your cursor's location. If you've changed your mind and wanted to rename your anchor, simply click on the anchor flag to do so. And if you want to delete an anchor, you only need to click on the backspace or delete button and the anchor will be gone. Now that we've placed the anchor where we want to reference, let's take a look at how to link to this anchor from other parts of the ebook. First, choose a place where you want to add the link to the anchored section from anywhere you want in the ebook. In our example here, we're going to link to the Types of Planets section from here using the anchor we created earlier. Select the relevant text and then click on the Link tool from the right panel here. This will open the Link dialog box. Choose the Two Book Location option. In the Chapter field here, select the chapter containing the anchor you placed. Then select the anchor that you would like to link to from the Target field here. Once done, click on Create. To review what you just did, click on the Preview button here. From here, you can view all the anchors and links you've added to see how they will appear in the final document. Now, let's say that after your readers click on the link to the anchor you created, you want them to have the option of returning instantly, such as the case when checking a reference. To do this, you would need two-way links. To add a two-way link, Go to the text you want to link two ways, then highlight it and click the link button here as we did earlier. This will open the insert link menu, but this time we will need to add a unique ID for the two links. Click on create to add the first link. Now, go to wherever the other text that you want to establish a two-way link to, highlight it and click on the link button. This will open the same menu as before, but this time make sure the ID is blank. Select the chapter you added the first link to from the chapter field here. Then select the other link from the target field here. It will be named as the same ID we created earlier. Select the two-way linking option here and then click on Create. To view the two-way linking in action, click on Preview here. As you can see, when we click on the first link, it takes us directly to the other text we linked it to. And by clicking here again, it will take us back to where we started. Suppose you have a very long chapter with lots of subsections, which will make it difficult for your readers to navigate through. We'll show you now a quick way to divide this chapter into multiple chapters and subchapters that can be listed in the table of contents without actually splitting the content. To do that, go to the chapter title you want to create a chapter for. All you have to do is simply highlight the chapter's title and then click on the anchor tool you have two new options available. Create a new linked chapter to this anchor and make it a child of the current chapter. Note that the latter option will appear only when the first option is selected. By selecting both options, a new subchapter for this section will be created here in the table of contents. This chapter will be titled after the highlighted text, but in case you'd like to rename it, go ahead and add a new unique name for it in this box here. You can see that the anchor added is very much the same as the other anchors, but now there's a new chapter added to the table of contents here. And that's it! You can continue to do so for other sections in your chapter the same way we did here. This is a quick way to modify the structure of your ebook without having to alter its contents. And that's it! In the next video, we'll show you how to add and customize videos to your ebook. Stay tuned!